I mean, I wouldn't say that Crux sucks, but spitting it out is yeah. damaging. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. <laughs> you don't make that mistake twice. Long, long, long time ago. Yes. It's so tight and thick. It's not what's popping. So nothing's really coming out. Nothing. Yeah. Remarkable, nothing offensive, nothing foul. Your eyes get so red and you start <laughs> smacking your lips. I'm trying to siphon out the sweetness. So maybe when they come out with a rainy day style, maybe that'll be sweet. Fingers, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Keep on smacking away because it's not there. It's like... A little bit dark fruit. Yeah, a little bit more dark fruit <laughs> and a little bit more dark fruit. It's like squished and I'm tight and thick. <laughs> Crocs socks, is that what you said? <laughs> Hi everyone. I'm Janet. I'm Jason. We're Gumbo Mud. Mud. We're here. For a dark beer. And today we have the juxtaposition. The what? Juxtaposition. You ever heard that juxtaposition? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Jox. Did you say jocks? Jux. J U X. Juxtaposition. I thought you said juxtaposition. <laughs> no, juxtaposition. <laughs> this is crux, which reminds me of juxtaposition. I've never seen C R U X. Juxtaposition is J U X. Juxtaposition. What is jux? Juxtaposition. I don't know what jux is. <laughs> Way to reference it and not. But juxtaposition, know it. you never heard that word, juxtaposition? No. 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 Anyway, crux. I've heard, the of, position. I've heard of jocks <laughs> yeah. positioning their jock. Jock, yeah. Jock. <laughs> Juxtaposition. Jocks. Jocks positioning their jocks. Jocks, yeah. Jocks position. Anyway. Crux. Crux. This is crux stout. It's an imperial stout. Yeah. And it is from the Crux Fermentation Project, which sounds pretty saucy. Saucy. And <laughs> it sounds spicy. different, right? Yeah. For all the for all the brewery names, you know, Crux Fermentation Project. That's interesting. So it sounds like a science experiment. To yes. Me, which yeah makes me a little weary. Right. It could be. I mean, it's it's from Bend, Oregon, and there's I forget the college there in Bend, but you never know. Some college students could have, you know, got the idea. Yeah. <laughs> Who I'm knows? Down. Yeah. I'm down. Yeah. You guys know me. See, juxtaposition's better. <laughs> juxtaposition. That's the weirdest thing. <laughs> juxtaposition. You totally pulled that out of your backside. No, it's I, true. It's a word. Just. Juxtaposition. Yeah. All right. So anyway. So this is a 7.7 percent ABV, 60 IBUs. And it is considered a not so rainy day stout. <laughs> Which is interesting. It's Oregon, you know. Bend, it doesn't rain as much. Obviously, it's uh, east of the Cascade Mountains, so it doesn't rain as much as, let's say, Portland. Mm -hmm. um, but not so rainy day stout. That's interesting. Okay. I don't like the 60 IBUs. Yes, I've, I'm not yeah. feeling great about that either. Yeah, yeah. But it, it sounds like it's got some, some good stuff in it. Uh, classically dark. Um, has caramel, chocolate, and roasted coffee notes in it. Mm -hmm. So you would think, you know, hopefully it's not as bitter with all these sweet, you know, notes and uh, flavors. But uh, mm -hmm. it looks like they use a lot of different malts, a dry crystal, black, roasted, and chocolate malts. So four different kinds of malts in this beer. So Yes. Let's hope those malts are canceling out some of the bitterness. The bitterness. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Fingers, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, so the brewery is founded by three guys. We have Larry Sidor, Dave Wilson, and Paul Evers. Uh, they opened their doors in June of 2012. Yeah. And um, the building itself that they're in, which is a kind of a cool history, I yeah. like this stuff, built in 1988. And it was originally a, I'm probably going to mispronounce, Munnell and Sherry Mill Supply. And then in 99, it was converted to <laughs> an Amco Trans transmission shop, transmission which shop. is a, um, they're now franchises yeah. worldwide. Uh, well, nationwide anyway. Yeah. I don't know about worldwide, but yeah. nationwide. So. Well, there's so much uh, uh, forest up there in Oregon that... Um, there's a lot of milling, milling places, and especially on the Deschutes River there, I'm sure um, 
back then in the 70s and 80s was used uh, for logging and things like that. So mm -hmm. they have a mill mill there. But yeah, it sounds like it's a it's a cool spot. Yes. Um, it looked like uh, you know the three friends uh, wanted a brewing business, which in Oregon uh, I lived there back in the mid to late 90s and the breweries there were just amazing mm -hmm. there are so many good breweries there and so uh they they actually bought the bulk of their brewing equipment <laughs> from a japanese brew pub which is which is crazy yeah like even back then how did you even find it there wasn't craigslist or yeah there was the internet but still how do you find exactly you know, all those things and then they they had to, to get it all from from japan and reassemble it and yes. put it together but anyway uh kind of interesting uh way of starting a brewery and just finding a way to do it right exactly yeah. in an inexpensive cost exactly. effective way uh, which leads to how they furnished um, you know, the interior of yeah. the brewery. Um, it's m almost primarily composed of reclaimed or recycled materials, which I love. Yeah. Like I love to, um, you know, give things a new life yeah. and a new uh, a new look. So I, I appreciate that. Like the reclaimed wood wall. The reclaimed wood wall. <laughs> exactly. Is this right. Such yeah. This is Jason's masterpiece. <laughs> like yeah. seriously, yeah. no, it's so cool. Yeah. And uh, we got that from um, just a local yeah. grocery store. All the pallets and the way they were worn down, and I just picked certain pallets and put it together. Yeah. Mixed yeah. and matched. Yeah, it looks beautiful. And yeah. and to have an old mill supply company um, when you go up into the northwest uh, because it does rain a lot and there's so much weather you get wood everything weathers mm -hmm. and gives it that rustic look which yes. which always looks cool so the place uh pull it up online look at the look at the photographs the inside looks beautiful mm -hmm. it just looks like a cool spot there yes. in south uh bend oregon mm -hmm. which is great so yeah you ready to try ready yeah we've never had anything from crux, crux. yeah Let's so yeah, so this is, this should be interesting. Uh, we found this at uh, San Diego Wine and Beer, and uh, it just looks so good, you know. Uh, not, not so rainy day stout. <laughs> Which here in Southern California last last month has been raining a lot. So rainy, rainy, rainy. rainy so. And today was a not so rainy day. Yeah, so exactly. We it's are perfect. busting this bad boy open. It's perfect. And uh, I, before we even poured it or anything, I could see a lot of massive bubbles. Could, I don't know if you guys can pick this up. Look at that. It almost looks like blocks of ice. Like inside. It's pretty cool. That's crazy. It almost looks like um like a sculpture. Like yeah. like it's intended to be that way. Mm hmm Very cool. Like this is some crazy head, you guys. Yeah. We're gonna wow. we're gonna drink all of this one. Yeah, the bubbles wow. inside look like a crystal cave or something like yeah. that, right? No, it really does. It looks yeah. like art, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a cool bottle, kind of a cool um logo there mm -hmm. they have for crux so different yeah yeah so check them out google them look online things like that so appearance woo super super impressive soapy um, very soapy uh it's yeah it is thick. clinging on for dear life the head is thick really and the thick. bubbles are kind of concentrated in the yeah. middle I don't know that I've actually seen another like this. Yeah, it's super thick, tight head, right? Yes. Yeah, this is, yeah. You being a baker, what what, what does that look like? Hmm. You know, I don't. It's so tight and thick. Nothing comes. Tight and thick. Oh. You get that? <laughs> it's crazy. No, it's crazy how just uh tight it is I, that's the only word i can think it's like squished and it is really you know right um yeah i don't i don't really have anything that comes to mind right now yeah uh the color i can say is uh, a cookie dough batter like yeah. when you're making chocolate chip cookies yeah before you add the chocolate chips it's like exact dough color um but beyond that, I mean, it's it's settling down now as we're going, but... Almost like a bubble bath kind of thickness, it is. right? Look at that. That's actually... I did think that. Look. I have um, a did young son who still takes bubble baths, and it, <laughs> it, depending on the quality of the bubble bath, it does remind me it of that. It doesn't want to move. It's just super thick. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. So what do you, what do you give appearance? Uh, it's pretty impressive. Again, 7.7? We are at a 7.7, .7, and based on that... 
this one really stands out. So I'm coming in with a five on appearance. Yeah, I'm with you. I have to give it a five, two, four, seven point seven. It's super dark. Yes. And the head is just crazy yeah, thick. It is. Crazy thick. The lacing is really good too. It's, the lacing is lighter than the head, mm -hmm. but it's sticking to the glass. Um, but it's, ah, the head is pretty thick. That's just crazy. Crazy, yeah. So I'll give it a, I give it a five too. Yeah. So what about uh, aroma? I am very intrigued by this one. I started to smell something when I was pouring, but I couldn't quite pinpoint it. it. It's kind of your your standard um, imperial fruit. stout. Yeah, but the dark fruit is faint. It's, okay. It's there, but it's it's not what's popping. Yeah. Um, a lot of dark chocolate. It smells uh, sweet. Sweet dark chocolate. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I love sweet dark chocolate. Yeah, the um, the fruit notes are really, really faint. They're there, but just not pronounced. Yeah, like, kind of your typical yeah, stout. Yeah, uh, many of them have this aroma, and then the taste is kind of what differentiates yeah. the beers. You know what it smells like to me? It smells like a rainy day stout. <laughs> to me, it's not so rainy. <laughs> yeah, it's it's got the mm, it's got the dark like fruit, it. but it's very very subtle, very subtle. Yeah. I'm not getting much of the chocolate or sweetness though. You're not? It's okay. It's just, it's very faint. Yeah. And I'm not getting much though. But it's okay. It's, it smells it's like a stout. Your standard. Standard stout. Yes. But you know what it does? It does smell like more than a 7.7, .7, right? Mm -hmm. It smells more like a 10, a 10 stout that we've had before. Right? I like it. Yeah. So what do you give? Aroma. I am going to give aroma a four. Mm -hmm. um, as much as I, I like what I'm getting. Um, you know, I kind of like, I like, I like my flavors. Yeah. I like, yeah. Especially in aroma, like you want the complexity. flavors. I like, uh, yeah. you know, layer. So yeah. it does smell like a really nice, uh, well-balanced, uh, brewed stout, but it's kind of lacking much more than that, but yeah. it smells clean, nothing offensive. Um, I'm anxious to get to the taste, but <laughs> it's pretty just, um, Middle of the road. Yeah, that's why I gave it a 3.5. Um, I, I think it's a little above a middle of the road because mm -hmm. it does have a little bit uh, of flavor, but just not much. It's just very subtle and I, I would like to have more. Mm -hmm. So it just, it, it the aroma seems a little more than average, just a little bit. So I gave it I gave okay. it a 0.5 more than average. So I gave it a 3.5 because <laughs> it, it's a little above. So okay. taste. Here we go. Yeah, as it's settling too, which the head is finally settling down, mm -hmm. it, it's evening out um, a little bit more of the aroma. It's good. What are you getting? It's the um, the taste follows the nose like very closely. Okay. It's okay. pretty much right on. Is it? It's just a, a a good standard stout. Nothing. Yeah. Remarkable. Nothing offensive. Nothing foul. Just just a good dark beer. Just standard. Yeah. So nothing's really coming out. No. Yeah. No, nothing at all. Um, it's pretty dry. There's not. Um, That's good. Yeah. There's not a lot of you know aftertaste. It's good though. You know, it says roasted coffee. I'm not getting much coffee mm -hmm. unless you know it's in the taste. I haven't tasted yet the bitter coffee and, and chocolate and caramel, which a lot of a lot of them say that and we don't get it. No. So you're not getting that either. I'm huh? really not. No. But it's good. I do like it. I really do. Yeah, it's kind of standard. A little bit of dark fruit. Yeah, a little bit more dark fruit and a little bit more dark fruit. Yeah, I'm not getting coffee. I'm not getting chocolate. I'm not getting caramel. I'm getting like just a little bit of dark fruit. It's not bad. It's just we've had stouts like this before. I, for my palate, yeah, it's the dark fruit. It's a little bitter. You Which was the chocolate. It, it's a bitter chocolate. It's not the sweet chocolate on my palate. It's, yeah, it's not sweet at all. Your eyes get so red and you start <laughs> smacking your lips like... Like where I'm, I'm trying to siphon out the sweetness in the beer. Well, keep on <laughs> smacking away because it's not there. Mm -mm. It's not there, but mm -mm. it's I like it. So yeah. on yeah. taste, I am going to give it. It's not you know it's not yeah. outstanding. It's not yeah. anything to write home about, but yeah. it's a good you know just middle of the road beer. So mm -hmm. I am coming in. What are you gonna give it? I'm gonna go with a three point five. Okay. 3.5. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a two. I don't get any sweetness at all. I don't get any coffee, any chocolate. Uh, unless, like, I've never taken the baker's chocolate and just 
cracked a piece and ate it. Okay, well you must. But I'm assuming this is what it is, if it oh. is chocolate, because this is bitter. It is bitter on my palate. I don't get caramel and I don't get coffee. Not even espresso bitter coffee. I'm not getting any coffee at all. I just get kind of a bitter, dark fruiter. It could be the bitter chocolate. One of these days, we'll, one of our next chocolate beers, we'll break open Baker's chocolate and try. Uh, not we, he. <laughs> you I, had it before. I did it as a child. Yeah. My mom kept it. Was it was a long, long, long time ago. Yes, <laughs> it was. My mom kept it in the fridge for, I'm, you know, preserving purposes, whatever. It's supposed to stay longer, Yeah. Uh, stay better longer in the fridge. Yeah. She kept it in the fridge. So I was like, ooh, ooh cold chocolate, right. you know? Yeah. I And it comes already divided into uh, little rectangles. Yeah. I thought it was like a Hershey's where they're divided and I busted one off and ate it and, you know, pulled the trash can out immediately and started <laughs> like yeah. spitting it out. It was, Th that it's that like bad. one of those things that you don't ever forget. It's, yeah. you don't make that mistake twice. Like, yeah. it's, you know, it's. Yeah damaging it's yeah this isn't that bad obviously no. it, it's just bitter it, it's i want sweet when it says chocolate caramel yes i want sweet and then if it says coffee i'd like to get some coffee aroma and a little bit of coffee taste too obviously the coffee aroma is always good and i'm not getting any of that so 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 yeah i gave it a two so okay so 3.5 for me yeah 3.5 for you two for you so what about texture the texture uh as, as 7.7 as impressive as the appearance was and the head was, it's a pretty light, watered down feel for me. Okay. Um, it you know it looked dark, it looked decadent, but it's pretty it's pretty watered down to me. Okay. I'm not getting a lot of um, creaminess, a lot of uh, texture, a lot of layers. It's just um, it kind of disappoints for me in that category. So I'm yeah. gonna give it a three. Give it a three. Where are you at? I actually gave it a four. So for a 7.7, 7, <laughs> it, it, it's almost like a seven to me. Mm -hmm. It is watered down, which a lot of our sixes and sevens don't have a lot of body. When we get one that has has a lot, it's exceptional. Mm -hmm. It does have a little bit of body to it. So um, I think they're close. It If like I, if I was blindfolded and tried it, I'd be like, yeah, it's a six to seven. It's, it's close to a seven. So 7.7 um, 7 is closer to an eight. I think it should be a little thicker and have a little more body and texture yes but i'll give it a four because it's close it does have some body and i'd be like yeah it's a seven six point five somewhere around there mm -hmm. so yeah i gave it a four okay so what about finish on to the finish um i don't really the more i drink it the less i like the mm -hmm. finish too um i almost get a little uh, b besides the the soapy residue of the lacing that we mentioned i almost get a soapy taste in my mouth like yeah kind of just a bitter, you know, bitter. It's, it's fairly high on the IBUs for us yeah. and what we like. So that's kind of coming through. The 60 IBUs are coming out on the finish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I wouldn't say that Crux sucks, but you know, I'm just, I, it's yeah. not my favorite. Yeah. Um, so what do you give the finish? I'm going to go with a three. You go with three? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, the bitterness. I gotta go with another two. Much. I'm gonna go with two because it's still it's as it's warming. It's even even more bitter. Like, like you said, it's kind of changing. It's getting a little more soapy, mm -hmm. soapier, and it's getting a little more bitter as it warms. And once again, I don't like bitter, obviously. Yes. And it's just yeah, it's that 60 IBUs maybe. I don't know, but it's bitter, and it's getting more bitter. And the finish, I give it a two because it lingers. Like, I'm smacking. Sorry. Yes, it's gross. Again. I know. Yes, because I can't get rid of it. Just the finish is almost the worst part for me. Yeah. It, it, it kind of mimics the taste, which I give it to too. It's just the bitterness. I'm not getting any kind of sweetness or any coffee flavors or anything like that. So, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. <laughs> Crux sucks. Is that what you said? No. I know. No. I said I wouldn't say that Crux <laughs> no. sucks, but if you like bitter, you're gonna like this beer. You know. Yeah, it's just right. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really dry. It's really bitter. Yeah. You know, it's got kind of a lot of attributes that we don't necessarily yeah look for. Yeah, and the finish lingers. So for a total, Janet, what do you give Crux? 
I am giving Crux a 3.7 out of 5. Um, Not bad. Close to a 4. Yeah. I, you know, uh, my, my ratings dwindled <laughs> as I went on. Um, no, not not a bad beer. Like yeah. I've had way worse, which yeah. that doesn't sound complimentary either. But <laughs> it's not a bad beer. It's really not. It's yeah. just not for my palate. No sweetness um, at all. Just no bitter. Just bitter, bitter bitterness, and as it warmed, it actually got more bitter. Yeah, a little it's, more it's on my more bad bitter. side. Yeah, I agree. So not for me yeah but i'm you know as always i would be welcome and open to try other crux beers um oh yeah i definitely want to go there in oregon i love oregon yeah especially ben i love ben so yeah this is a new brewery to me uh this is our first uh crux, crux. fermentation project, project beer <laughs> it's a bizarre name yeah if you guys can like do a dba i, I would love <laughs> that business. like yeah. exactly like the name yeah freaks me like yeah. it you know it's not like a comforting yeah <laughs> welcoming feeling that you it yeah. sounds like you guys are experimenting and don't really know what you're doing <laughs> yeah. anyway yeah just uh, my two cents i give it a 3.3 .3. um a little above average i think there's some good attributes of the beer it's just the taste is bitter and the finish is bitter and i want sweet that's why i drink stouts i want sweet yes every other beer you ever drink you know it's not sweet that's why we drink stouts. That's why we drink dark beer, right. uh, imperial stouts, uh, imperial porters, usually uh, brown ales. Yeah, usually synonymous with being sweet. Yeah, sweet. Right? Yeah, yeah. All the things we like. So, mm -hmm. um, for some reason, a lot of people like to put the dry fruit, which I think adds to the bitterness. Um, obviously, they're using the, the the bitter chocolate and the bitter coffee, because that's two of the main ingredients in this beer. And so I just wish they would add sweetness to it. I think the body's good for a 7.7. .7. Mm -hmm. I thought the appearance was amazing. Definitely. For a 7.7, 7, yeah. uh, man, you could tell me that was a 12. Yeah. Like, wow. You guys killed the appearance. Yes. Like, for yes. sure. Yeah, it looked great. So lacing's still a little bit ahead. I'm almost done with mine. There's still a little bit ahead. Mm -hmm. So anyway, yeah. Gumbo Mud Review is a 3.5. So, you know, above average beer. Um, I, I definitely think if you watch our channel and you like bitter beer you're gonna like this beer um, it's got good body it's got a lot of good characteristics um, it's got that bitter flavor it's not overpowering we've had worse bitter beers that For sure. that are just off and we can't hardly drink them I can yeah. drink this beer yeah. it just is very bitter on the finish more than even the taste and as it warms for me it just lingers. Mm -hmm. It's not like leaving my palate dry and finished and, and ready for another sip. It just lingers, which it I'm not. I'm never crazy about. So mm -hmm. yeah, I agree. Yeah. So that is it for our review of Crux. Crux Stout, a not so rainy day stout, <laughs> right? <laughs> not so, so rainy day. Not so rainy day. So maybe when they come out with a rainy day stout, maybe that'll be sweet. More up our alley. <laughs> exactly, right? Exactly. So yeah, three rain or shine, yeah. crack this bad boy open exactly. and let us know what you think because, yeah. uh, you know, your experience could be very different than ours and we appreciate all angles yeah all angles <laughs> and all, all input right <laughs> all input so thank you guys for watching thank you so much yeah click the like and share button and share with everyone you know and click the subscribe button for more beer reviews you can find us on instagram it's gumbo mud m u double d yeah for the latest videos and as soon as they're released and uh uh, some extra stuff on all our trips and uh, all the breweries we visit and yes. all, all fun stuff for gumbo mud. Yeah. Little extracurricular <laughs> stuff exactly. too. So, yeah. Exactly. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.